cheesy juice. Before I could even squeak, six paws grabbed me. They lifted me up and threw me into a car. Help! I shrieked. I'm being mouse napped. Someone started the car. We shot off with a squeal of tires. I felt like I was in a movie. You know, one of those high speed cat and mouse adventure movies. Only this wasn't a movie. This was real. I blinked. At the wheel sat my sister, Thea, with my cousin Trap at her side. My young nephew, Benjamin, kept me company in the back. But I'm afraid to go out, I shrieked in terror. Trap squeaked. Oh, don't be such a baby. He shoved a cheesy chew into my mouth. I wanted to tell him I wasn't a baby. I just had a problem with leaving my house and with driving in fast cars and with putting my paws under those paw dryers in public bathrooms. They can be so hot. A mouse could burn his or her fur right off. But I couldn't say a word. My mouth was full. Oh, how I love my cheesy chews. Trap was happily squeaking away. Tell me, Cousinkins, he babbled. Do you like the dark chocolates with the blue cheese filling best? Or the cheddar and caramel creams? Without waiting for a reply, he shoved another cheesy chew into my mouth. It was good. My mood was beginning to lift. Benjamin sat next to me, happily nibbling away. Look, Uncle Geronimo, he squeaked. Here's a caramel Swiss dip, my favorite. He offered a mozzarella and marshmallow roll to Thea. Try this one, Auntie, he said. It's yummy. I must say, the cheesy chews were delicious. We polished them off in a jiffy. I was so busy munching chocolates that I lost track of time. Suddenly, the car stopped. Make way, make way. I got out, that's when it hit me. We were at the airport. I hate airports, and not just because I hate to fly. Airports are so crowded and busy. All of those rodents rushing around, it's enough to give me a mouse-sized headache. Why have you brought me here? I asked in a panic. My cousin Trap winked at me and laughed. Oh, we're just getting started, Jerkins, he said mysteriously. What do you mean? I asked. I was beginning to get worried. But before I could say another word, Trap shoved me onto a luggage cart. Let the fun and games begin, he squeaked. Then he pushed me at breakneck speed through the airport. Make way, make way, he screamed with glee. Don't you just love speeding? No, I wailed in horror, but my cousin was on a roll and I'm not talking about the rolling luggage cart. Trap was running so fast, his paws barely touched the ground. Suddenly, he stopped in front of the VIR, very important rodent, waiting lounge. A perfect, uh, a pretty female mouse with blonde fur was just coming out. She was wearing a very trendy safari outfit with a synthetic cat fur vest and a pair of laced up leather boots. A necklace made of shark's teeth completed the look.